Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Do you see anything? Yes. Yes. There you're all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? <sighs> got a Gatling gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. Hey, move that scope over to the right. Down by the road? We'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? You got men covering the house? I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey... I'm always up for performance. So, what are we doing? You're going in, kid. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. So may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my people. Come on, Praise kid. Be. Now, uh, are you? Uh, have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> praise be! I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, praise be. Or a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you darky! I said, a miracle shall strike you down. Get out of here, you nigger piece of shit! Praise <laughs>
This one looks good. Search it. Search it. Now I think we should search the crates off this. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Shady Bell in one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. You look just the opposite. The goddamn. <laughs> I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Yeah, well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Enough, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. in these trees up here. Let's get there.
Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Hey, Mary Beth. Hi there, Arthur. Williamson? Arthur. Arthur! Arthur, stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goody, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur. So, Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Whatever you say. Don't you have nothing better to do? I'm just being friendly. No, you ain't. Hello. All right. O'Driscoll. Hello, Micah. O'Driscoll boy. Morgan, I've jotted down a few things that I think could be uh, nice additions around here. Stephen. Jackson. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Hi there. 
Arthur. We should do something fun this evening. Evening. Hey, boy. <laughs> my real uncle, Uncle Jeb, my mother's brother's cousin. <laughs> he was kind of funny. One of those men you uh you didn't want to be left alone with on account of him doing. Well, you know what I mean. Not right with young men. <laughs> Anyways. He wants to take me fishing. No, I didn't want to go. Because if there's one place men act funny, it's around fish. <laughs> oh, anyways, he tried to take me. Uh, hello. All week long, he's telling me to come. Only weren't Jeb drowning Ned like I reckon, but... <laughs> Ned, he went and, well, stabbed Jeb right in the moneymaker. <laughs> Turned him into Aunt Jemima. <laughs> no word of lie. <laughs> Howdy. Mr. Morgan. Gotta help anyone who tries to get past you.
Just wait a second, girl.
Okay, my girl. Yeah.
Let's go, girl. Hey, friend. He's watching. He's always watching. He's never talking. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. That's why, that, that, that's why I'm out here well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. I never sleep. I never do. Easy, easy.
Always good to see. You. Morning, Arthur. Look at him. Huh? Look at him. Good morning. It's a disgrace. You're a disgrace. <laughs> Rest of us out risking our necks so this degenerate man of the claw can dissipate himself. Leave the morality to Dutch, Mr. Bell. I love Dutch, but he's too soft on the weak. If only it was and in better condition. Let's see what we can get for it. Mr. Bell. All folk can earn, Miss Grimshaw. Ain't none of us so enfeebled. We need charity. Well, I'll take what Even I can get. Fool. Arthur! <sighs> This'll help the stew. Many thanks. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take a look. Well, move a bit. Appreciate it, Pearson. Thank you, Arthur. Arthur! Arthur! What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. <sighs> Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Okay, then, girl. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> mm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. 
I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Mm. Let's take a look around. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Found anything? Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. You see anything there? What do you think? Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look, say. Look, I guess tracks. maybe uh, 12 hours Come ago. On. But no body? Not yet. We should get going. Okay, girl. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right. I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. These tracks lead into the forest here. Easy. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What are you getting off for? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come here. Come on! You stay there. Where 
It's Trelawney. I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Oh, it's dis Loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? <sighs> kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked... I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. That must be it. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Go deal with them, my brothers! Don't let them get away. Could have told them anything. Quick, find them! They're trying to hide in the field! Over there, where the birds are. Just 
sons of bitches. Get the hell out of here while you still can! Dumped his gear. Look around. You can't have gone far. You must be close. Keep searching. It's around here somewhere. <coughs> He's mine. Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on! Go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> Sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right.
Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Can I help you? Hey, it's going to take some time to trim this mess. I wish I'd have fought on the other side just as they could have shot some of you fools. <laughs> Hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. And I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. Howdy. Well, good morning, sir. Well, I'll be damned. You're back. What can I offer you? That gun seems to be well taken care of. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know.
You'll appreciate the improvement. You'll notice the difference. How about we get back here? That's more like it. That could really shine with some carbon in it. Terrible thing what happened at the parlor house. Left for you. Let's get. Hey there. Morning. Hello, sirs. Good morning to you. Uh, folks. Good morning to you, sir. Hello there. Been a while, girl.
mistake taking me, but it ain't too late. Let me go, and there's no bad blood. No bad blood. There's no They're coming for the prisoner. duty to free me. There you go. <sighs> Thank you. God damn these bastards. Get out of here before any more of them come along. Okay. There might be some things here if you want them. I'd just be a hero, mate. Again, citizen. There, girl. Yeah, hold still, girl.
What you reading, Dutch? Evelyn Miller, of course. <laughs> that old windbag. Hello, boy. He's no windbag, son. He is a, a seer. He sees things that we don't know yet. I, I know. I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. You're probably right. You know, you know, you always had the most incredible way of putting things. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I'm, I'm just an old outlaw, not prepared to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're... You're... Well, you're amazing. What the hell is up with him? He must be after something. Slimy bootlicker. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. Pearson? How are you? There he is. Arthur, my boy. Talk to Lenny. Ah, okay. Got some weapons you could sell. Well, I should get back to it. Take care, Arthur. You okay, boy? My lady. Oh, hello, Mr. Morgan. This is going in the pot. Thank you, Arthur. Karen. You got this place whipped into shape, all right. I'm trying. You okay? Woo, Arthur! How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. believe the domino survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. What? You got something to do all of a sudden? Sir? Hello there, miss. There she is. Hi, Arthur. Everything okay? Oh, yeah. Just doing what I can to help out around here. Hey.
Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? Perhaps. I'm so worried. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. Hey, Abigail. Hi, Arthur. Mrs. Ed. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> 